Oh, madam, it isn't right you're sitting here all alone. Everyone has gone out. They're all enjoying themselves. It is seven months to the day. I know it well, and you'll forgive me, but you've mourned him long enough. When my old man died, I cried, I grieved, I got over it. There was life to be lived. In ten years' time, you'll wish you could have your pick of all the young officers in the club. But by then it will be too late. You'll be old. The time is now. I must ask you never to speak of this again. You know when Nikolai Mihailovich died, my world ended. Who could that be? Whoever it is, tell them that since my husband's death, I do not receive anybody. Oh, if this type of annoyance continues, I shall have to go into a convent. Yes, Nikolai. I shall wear these widow's weeds for you forever. Your spirit will see how much I loved you. Though it was no secret how cruel you could be to me. Unfaithful even. And often, I shall always be the virtuous wife. Out of my way, old woman. I shall see her at once. Madam, permit me the honor of introducing myself. I am Grigory Stepanovich Smirnov, businessman, landowner, and I am compelled to trouble you on an urgent matter concerning my business transactions with your late husband. He died owing me the sum of 3,000 rubles, which I must have tomorrow, or my mortgage will be foreclosed. Just what was the nature of my husband's business transactions with you? I sold him oats for his horses. His ho oh. What did I say? <laughs> Madam? Oh, my dear, what is it? Oh, how he loved his horses, especially Toby. Do you remember how he used to ride him about the countryside? Tell the stable hands to give Toby an extra scoop of oats today. Sir, whatever my husband's debts to you, I can assure you they will be settled. However, my account manager is out of town until the day after tomorrow, and I'm afraid I don't have any cash on me just at present. But I'm sorry, madam. If I don't pay the interest by tomorrow, I will lose my estate. I am sorry, but you will get your money the day after tomorrow. But I don't want my money the day after tomorrow. I need it today. But I don't have it today. Yes, but you could get it today. After all, the banks are open, and my horses are hitched up just outside. Sir, I am not well. Uh, not well? It has been seven months to the day since my husband died. <laughs> Oh, I am sorry, madam, but you see, I've been on the road since yesterday trying to track down my debtors. Not a single one repaid me. Can you believe it? And what am I to do? I'm nearly 40 miles from home, a home that won't be there tomorrow if I don't have the money. I mean, I'm not doing this for my health, you know. <laughs> Sir, I distinctly told you you would have your money the day after tomorrow. Is that your final word? Yes. Absolutely final? Yes. Positively final word. Oh, you are impossible. Impossible? Oh, I'll tell you what's impossible. You there, old woman. Yes. A glass of vodka. What? Now. Now, what's impossible, madam, is trying to talk sense to a woman. Do you think I can just fly away from my creditors like magic or something? What fancies you have. Not one single debtor repaid me. The swine. It's absolutely maddening is what it is. Another. <laughs> That's it. I shall stay here until she repays me. <gasps> Confound it.
Oh, I shall have to do something desperate. It's the only way to get things done. Try to be nice and they just walk all over you. Oh, but my account manager is out of town. I couldn't possibly get the money for you. Ah. Another. Wait, just bring me the bottle. Sir! You heard me. Now! <laughs> Sir, in my solitude I have grown unaccustomed to the masculine voice. I must ask you to stop shouting. This is not a stable. Pay me my money and I'll go. I told you I haven't got it now. I'll wait. <laughs> Show this gentleman out, please. Would you mind going now, sir? As the lady wishes. I am going nowhere until I get my money. Go find the servants. Find anyone and get this bear out of here. What did you call me? <laughs> You're a bear. A rude, ill-bred man who hasn't the slightest sense of how to speak to a woman. Oh, no. And how should one speak to a woman? In French? Oh, pardonnez-moi, madame, mais je voudrais mon argent maintenant tout de suite, s'il vous plaît. Madam, in my time, I've had more women than you've had new dresses. There was a time in my life when I fought duels over women. Well, never again. Show me one. Show me one who isn't dishonest, vain, trivial, and downright loathsome underneath the facade. <laughs> it's the man. The man who always suffers, making sacrifices all to make her happy. And what does she do? Just tightens her grip all more firmly when she knows she's got him hooked. <laughs> Show me one who is faithful and constant. Faithful and constant, is it? Oh, surely you don't mean to suggest that the man could ever be so. My late husband beat me before the servants. He made love to other women in front of me at parties. Would disappear with them for weeks at a time, using my money. And in spite of that, I have shut myself forever within these walls to mourn his memory to the very end of my days. Oh, please, as if I didn't know why. Excuse me? You may have buried yourself alive, but I notice you haven't forgotten to powder your face. How dare you? You must excuse me. I'm not a woman, therefore I'm used to saying what I think straight out. You boorish bear. Please don't shout. I'm not shouting! May I ask what right you have to insult me? I'm not afraid of you. I think it's high time we dispense with the prejudice that only men have to pay for their insults. Few women want equality. Let's fight it out with pistols. Very well. This minute? This very minute. My husband had some pistols. I'll go fetch them. Nothing would make me happier than to put a bullet in your thick skull. All this nonsense about the softer sex. I'll put it down like a mad bitch. I'm not some sentimental little boy. Let the sexes be equal. I'll shoot her on principle. Oh, that little woman. How she reddened when she accepted my challenge. This is the first time in my life that I've ever seen a woman like her. She's rather attractive at that. Here they are. But before we fight, you must show me what to do. I've never held a pistol before. What eyes she has. You hold it like this. Like this? Yes. You cock the trigger. Take your aim. Pull your head back a little. Marvelous figure. Hold your arm out. Then press this thing with your finger. Very well. It's inconvenient to shoot indoors. Let's go out into the garden. I love you. What? I cannot fight you. Don't be ridiculous. This way. How can I say it? I... I came in here hating you. And now... Damnation, woman, what fragile furniture you've got. I love you. Stand back or I'll shoot. How wonderful that those beautiful eyes would be the last thing I see. I must have gone mad. Will you marry me? Out! I'm a landowner of respectable character. I have some fine horses. 
Out. I haven't felt love for years. Now, all of a sudden, I... I apologize. I must have lost my head. Please forgive me. Wait. No. Go away. No. Don't. Madam, oh, there's no one around, but I... Oh, my Lord. Luca, when the stable hands return, tell them that Toby isn't to have any oats at all today. <laughs>